That's 916 now here in Studio 61. Over the past days and months, even years, we've talked a lot, quite rightly, about companies leaving Connecticut, millennials leaving Connecticut. What can this state do to make itself more attractive? Well, now we want to talk about some good news, specifically the commercial real estate business. I'm so happy to have with me now Nick Marizio from Collier's International. He's got over 30 years of experience in commercial real estate and as a business owner. And we're going to talk about how some towns in Connecticut, central Connecticut, sort of changing their model a little bit and attracting in businesses. There are a lot of uh, square footage that's that's going up in, in Connecticut, in yeah. central Connecticut, in New Haven. It's been great. Good news. That's, that's the good news for Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. Um, there's been over three million square feet square feet being developed right now in Connecticut. Uh, Seven hundred fifty thousand square feet. Trader Joe's in Bloomfield. Yeah. Five hundred thousand square feet of FedEx in Middletown. Nine hundred thousand square feet in North Haven for a new Amazon facility down there. Three hundred thousand Mobis Hyundai in South Windsor. Yeah. Another three hundred thousand Niagara Water Company. So there's been a lot of activity. And no one ever thinks about that, but that yeah. brings in jobs, brings in people, brings in the taxes that oh, yeah. Connecticut needs. You're saying how much about a square foot are a lot of these places going to be paying in taxes? Well, anywhere between a dollar and two dollars a square foot. So that's you know that's three that's million dollars. Yeah, that's three to six million dollars in. Uh, of tax dollars coming into these towns, which yeah. is, that's a lot. Yeah, and we were talking before specifically, just because I'm from South Windsor, I'm seeing how the Sullivan Avenue area there uh, near Route 5 has just blown up with a lot of big warehousing. So why is this such an attractive option for a lot of these companies? Well, we have the infrastructure here that what's, you know, again, real estate is location, location, location. Mm -hmm. So that's the best part about Connecticut. We have a great highway system here, 91, 84. Uh, you could get to every major city, Boston, New York, Washington, D.C., in one day's drive time and for trucks. Yeah. And that's very important. That's what they need to do. And we're so much cheaper than everywhere else. I mean, if you had to build a warehouse in New York or Boston, the land would be a million, <laughs> the land would be a million dollars an acre, where here it's 150000 an acre or something like that. You know, so and the rents, so they could pay lower rents, and mm -hmm. consequently, that's what everybody wants. And I imagine that's always, to some degree, going to be the case. You know, as cities get more attractive for millennials and less attractive, mm -hmm. corporate tax rates can go, but uh, land's always going to be cheaper in central Connecticut right. than it's going to be in Boston or right. New York. Right, right. And that's, uh, you know, everybody's worried about we're losing companies to New York and Boston, but there are companies that want to come to Connecticut because are, you know, the cost of, of land and yeah. the cost of goods and housing and, and everything else, and labor. Yeah. So all, these are all great things that we have. And uh, how can you forecast this maybe going forward to 2018 just for uh, as far I, as the economy's stop. growth? Yeah, I don't see this stopping at all because this, uh, this e-commerce, this business has been growing and yeah. people want to have uh, everything overnight. You know, when you order something, don't you want it tomorrow, the next yes. day? And so this... This this is going to be going on. This is growing, yeah. uh, and I think that's the best thing that we have. Again, location is is what we have. So. Yeah, and you can't just get it anywhere. As he was he was telling me before, and forgive me for paraphrasing, just because we're out of time. You need a lot of the infrastructure there, the water, the electric. So you can't go build it out in the woods uh, somewhere and necessarily have the same effect. You need to have the access and the infrastructure. And Central Connecticut specifically has both. That's good news. Thank you for sharing some good news. No problem. Happy to have you, Mr. Marzio. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, still ahead on the Fox 61 Morning News, Sean Pergano has a look at what's ahead on Foodie Friday. Stay with. Me. <laughs> Yeah, it's Foodie Friday here. Are we? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, are we? Are we going? Yeah, Foodie Friday. That's right. We're at the Berlin Fair. I wasn't sure if you sent if you sent it to me, Tim, but that's right.